must reduction in radio power. So um, most of you know, the other thing we showed is that the Green Touch consortium members were able to do something together and actually within a fairly tight schedule produce a, a system which demonstrated one of our key goals which was to reduce the amount of power required over the air and wireless networks, which is a significant fraction of the overall power used in ICT networks. The, the method, so the, excuse me. We've shown this method of combining the antennas to achieve energy reduction. Key to this, and in the name, large scale antenna system, is that this method scales. That is the key technical contribution of this project. We understand how as we continue to add antennas, we can continue to reduce the amount of radio energy that we require. You know, there are, it turns out, and we learned this in the course of this research, that there are many ways which we thought we could do this, and some of them don't work. Some of them, as you add antennas, only give you sort of gains which flatten off after a while. But the particular algorithms you know, which we have developed, in fact, allow you to continually grow the antennas and drop the total amount of radio power. And, and we can do that by at least a factor of several hundred. So how, how did we do all this? Well, it was a tight schedule, so we did it really fast. Uh, but uh, one of the other things which, along the way, while we were rushing to do this project, is we were trying to keep some of the other Green Touch goals in mind. And those happen to be you know, open cooperative research. The, the platform on which the large scale antenna system is based, you know, runs on, it's based in software, runs on standard hardware, uses uh, Ubuntu Linux, the data acquisition system is the open source uh, Linux uh, control and measurement device interface or, or comedy. This is all sort of you know, very basic, easily available stuff so that the kind of work that we've done can, can be reproduced by other partners, especially by uh, university partners uh, who may have uh, more limited financial resources. So we're trying to make sure that this kind of technology is widely available to our partners. Now, clearly you know, showing that we can reduce the amount of transmit power by forming narrow beams is only a first step. You know, what else do we need to do? Well, one of the things which we need to do is minimize the amount of broadcast traffic in the system where we can't use a narrow beam, where we have to send the radio power out into a wide sector. And that affects very crucially standards. So we need to make, we, we need to look at how are we going to integrate this kind of technology into future standards. Also, you know, large scale antenna systems, as the name said, when we got it back from marketing, they're large. It's these things, some of these things, we may want to build antennas which are inconveniently large to mount on towers using conventional technology. Um, they, they may be, if we use conventional technology, these antennas may be ugly and obtrusive. We're looking at ways that we can take very large antennas and in fact use the fact that the per element antenna power is dropping to try to make the antennas thinner make them easier to mount on the sides of buildings, make them easier to hide, so that these devices, while they may offer great energy savings, they also have to be acceptable to the service providers that are going to install them, and to the people who have to live around them, and have to look at them every day. So uh, the main conclusion is that we did what we said we were gonna do. Green Touch set a goal you know, a year ago uh, to come back within a year with tangible evidence that the Green Touch partners could work together and make something which showed a real contribution to a key problem in the energy consumption of ICT networks. Wireless communication, the, in fact the radio power used in wireless communication is one of the major portions of the overall 
ICT energy expenditure, and we've shown that we can reduce it. And that's what we set out to do. Thank you very much. There's a gentleman up here. The, the power consumption of the array, if you do it using completely conventional technology, goes up quite a bit. We've discovered that there are certain advantages to using many antennas, I mean, they say many more than 16, which will enable us to simplify the signal processing and other bits of the digital processing, which we hope will significantly reduce the baseband processing power. And that, that's clearly a, you know, a key element. You know, only part of the picture is the actual transmitted radio power. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, oh, there's one more. So, okay. Yeah, I, I just, just want to know whether the antenna is the passive or the active one, because uh, I, I have ever heard uh, many information about uh, active antennas. Uh, I just want to know what's the basic uh, difference between the larger scale antenna system or so with the uh, active antenna. Thank you. Uh, the large scale antenna system in its current incarnation has some active elements within each, right behind each antenna element up in the, uh, just behind the radiating patches. So it, you can consider this as an active antenna array. And that, that gives us uh, some significant advantages in you know, moving the radio power uh, from the antenna into the digital processing unit. Uh, yeah, we certainly invite you know, all members of the consortium to come to, uh, to New Jersey and we will set up the large scale antenna system demo for them and you know, show you how it works, uh, let you play with it. We have a nice remote control on a Samsung Galaxy tab from our partners, uh, which will allow you to turn the antennas on and off yourself and see how the energy reduction is, is achieved. Yes. The, what's the, the question was, what is the relationship between the large-scale antenna system and the light radio, which is a you know, proprietary Alcatel-Lucent product? Um, the answer is there is no direct connection between them. Uh, large-scale antenna system for Green Touch you know, is intended to be you know, shared with the, the, the technology, shared with the other Green Touch partners. Uh, the Alcatel-Lucent light radio is a technology for Alcatel-Lucent's product line going forward, which, you know, which could be used to build things like the large-scale antenna systems. I mean, the goal is to get our technology built by equipment vendors so we can get into the service provider networks. And that is potentially a way that that can happen. Gee. So do you, ha do you have um, an estimate of the gains uh, when you include uh, elevation as well as azimuthal uh, directivity? Uh, right now you get a lot of the gains just from azimuth. Uh, the, uh, the demonstration we showed only steers the beam in, in azimuth. Um, it, it works very well. Um, the vertical steering depends on the environment. There's potentially a big gain within urban environments, but in rural environments, you know, the birds don't have cell phones yet. Come on, service providers, you've got to sell some more to them. <laughs> you know, so mostly it depends on the environment. <laughs>